want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. Have you guys ever had that experience in your life where you found yourself mm -hmm. clinging on to something and you didn't really want to hear the truth about it in, in whatever kind of process because it was more comfortable just to kind of live in your like illusion? Have you ever had that moment? <laughs> I know I have. I personally yeah. had that where it was like, I didn't want to kind of face reality because it was like, then I would have to actually do something about it and take action towards something. Um, so it was just kind of, you know, you kind of brush it under the rug or like, <laughs> I, I feel like we all do that in, in sometimes micro or macro ways in life at certain points. Mm -hmm. Are you looking for examples? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of like, nobody's, sorry, nobody's jumping, uh, jumping forward to, to talk about how they were, uh, wrong eh? <laughs> it's hard Never. to remember those i know it's hard to admit that and well, I, i'm I, always I, right so <laughs> there's, definitely, there's definitely like a resistance to like own up to that because we have this like i don't know i don't know we have this like fear of uh, showing our true selves maybe i'm not sure how to word it but uh -oh. i want it's, it's a few sorry go ahead no you go ahead Right. I was going to say, uh, it's, it's a bit of a, it's embarrassing, that's all, that, mm. it, right? There's a feeling of embarrassment when you realize that you're, you've been thinking something that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, it's, it, it, can, it can kind of come out in fears in, in like a multitude of different ways. So like some people will like be afraid of like just not being capable kind of thing. I know like that's, that's something for me. Like if I, if I'm not in the know of how to do something, I feel inadequate. And so that's kind of like somebody coming, knowing what to do. And so you see this in like a lot of like, like uh, construction or like manufacturing or any kind of like on the job site kit thing. I think we've talked about it before, uh, Leonard, is this like coming into a job and thinking you know how to do it and somebody might come along especially if they're like uh, a higher up and they'll say well this is how we're going to do it and you're yeah. kind of like the new guy and you're like well this is kind of how i want to do it uh but this this uh higher up is telling me to do it this way and i think i know it all so <laughs> i'm not going to do it that way and it's just really hard to let go of the way you want to do it kind yeah. of thing because you think I don't know, it's, it's sometimes you think, well, I need to do it my way and fail in order to, to learn how to do it the right way instead of just doing it the proper way. Is that how it always happens? Someone will tell you how to do something better and you're like, no, I know better. And then you do it. And then it, you're do, as you're doing it, you just like start doing it their way. Like yeah. Looking over your shoulder, you're like, hope they don't notice <laughs> yeah. I'm listening to them. I know how to do it better. <laughs> You know, but it's, it's not necessarily that the other person knows how to do it better all the time and you're always in the wrong, but you're better off probably to do it their way and figure out if it works. And if not, you're not in a situation where you're like, I don't know, like in the wrong, right? Of course. You've tried and then you've learned still. Uh, and then you can try it other ways. But if you arrogantly try and do it your own way, sometimes, I don't know, it's such a situational thing. So yeah. as I'm saying it, I'm like, oh, but that's also kind of wrong. Like, <laughs> I think the, the lesson I get from that is like learning to listen more and always being mindful that you, I think Jordan, again, Jordan Peterson talks about this. You always assume that someone knows more than you mm. and like if you're just kind of a, have that open-mindedness to it um at least you're gonna still have the ways you do it and you can kind of build off that you're not just gonna like surrender to someone else and just do how everyone else does but yeah. you're gonna be more open-minded and allowing and you're gonna experiment with things and allow yourself to grow without resistance right less reason our lives are pretty complicated and and i think we try to we try to minimize yeah. everything you know we we want things to be simple we want to you know um just um set up systems 
we like to set up systems that we can just keep redoing over and over again so we don't have to think it out mm-hmm. right which is which is ben- out, right which is beneficial when, like like yeah, there's, well, there's a benefit to that that's 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 a human condition that it's allowed us to achieve great things yep um and that's why we don't like having our uh illusions shattered right, right? we don't like hearing new ideas uh because it requires us to rebuild that system. Mm. That's a good that way of putting it. Very good.